Hi everyone. So for my project, I wanted to make a film focusing on the relationship between language and the land. And it started out as this vague concept where I wanted to capture moments of being outside and immersed in nature. The language I've been studying for the past couple of months is Sanchothan, and I kept noticing so many connections between this language and the ocean. Um, the land that Sanchothan originates from belongs to the Wasainich people, and it's the kind of the southern part of Vancouver Island, which is, um, as you may know, surrounded by water. So, so many of the words that are in this language make reference to activities that are surrounding the ocean such as fishing or contain like knowledge about a place which could be referring to a clam digging area. So in order to execute this project for about a month now I've been going outside. I began filming the ocean and I tried to capture what it was like to kind of just pause there and to connect with the ocean. The way that I wanted this film to be structured was to try and emulate that connection with the water along with adding like the narrations of discussing a lot of the concepts that we learned in class. So for example, I wanted to give some of the place names that are there in the Wasainich territory in Sanchothan and discuss how they relate to the ocean. It's important to discuss what they were before, what they represented before, and exactly what knowledge it held before it was replaced with a colonial name, but also discuss what it means for them to not be there anymore and for them to be replaced. I think a part of this project is talking about how time is tracked a little bit differently for the Wasainage people and how the year is split into 13 months instead of 12 and how each of these 13 moons represents something that is happening in the world and also discussing how so many of them relate to activities that are going on in the ocean. Like for example, the moons or the months that are happening through um, what we know as June until September represent a different breed of salmon that is coming back from the ocean to the fresh waters. Another thing is how this Sanchothan language expresses so many words for the what we know in English is one word, the tide, but it's such an important concept in Sanchothan and for the Wasainich people because it was used to help track time and you could know what time of year it was by looking at the tide. And this was something that I'd never thought about, but you know, upon kind of like <laughs> looking through my memories, you know, you kind of think, oh, I never really see the tide act a certain way during the summer versus during the winter and it's just something that they knew and it was such an integral knowledge that it's represented by 13 words in Sanchothan and finally it also looks into the damage done by colonialism and how that's impacted Sanchothan and also trying to focus on language revitalization and the projects that are going on within the Wasainish community to try and heal from this horrible past that colonialism has imposed upon them. It was important to me to make a film for this project because I wanted to use this as a tool to kind of to start conversations with people outside of this classroom and people who may not be as knowledgeable about the land they are living on. I really hope that it inspires people to kind of look into whose land they're living on and what was the language that was spoken before um, European colonialism and all of that and I also hoped that it would inspire some other people to maybe go outside and to kind of connect to the land that they live on to have an appreciation for it because I mean if you don't have a connection to the land there's not really a connection to fight for it and we need people to care about the earth right now. That's essentially what I've been working on and I'm really excited to put it together and finalize it this week. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the time that you're taking to watch this and I hope you are having a great weekend.